Hi there, welcome to episode 64 of Sparks Notes, and my computer's being really loud, so sorry if you can hear that in the background. Uh, I didn't even pull up my intro, hold on. <laughs> I'm Lindsay Sparks, <laughs> author of fantasy and sci-fi romance books that almost always include mythology with my own special twist. Welcome to my weekly Author's Notes podcast. Today is Monday, November 7th. Uh, which I'm recording a day after my usual Sunday because yesterday was my birthday. So I did not stay up and record late last night. I just watched a show with my husband. Um, but yeah, so today I would love to share some of my reflections from this past week with you and let's get into it. Um, first off, uh, Legacy of the Lost and Fate of the Fallen in audio are still on sale. Legacy of the Lost is 99 cents and Fate of the Fallen is $4.99. So you can get them both for six bucks. And that is on Apple, Chirp, and Nook. Uh, and then as always, the starter library is available to all of my newsletter subscribers. And there you can get uh, a bunch of my first books and series for free in ebook and audio. So definitely take a look at that if you are not already a subscriber. Um, I have a couple announcements. One is, uh, they're all cover related because this is apparently like my month of cover reveals. So um, the recover reveal of the Atlantis Legacy books, uh, the makeover, so new covers, is happening right now this week. So uh, on Instagram and Facebook, you can see the new cover of Legacy of the Lost. And um, tomorrow I'll be posting probably Fate of the Fallen and Dreams of the Damned. And then one or two, uh, probably, well, we'll see how it all plays out. But anyway, I need to finish up Atlantis Legacy on Thursday because on Friday, LP and I are doing the cover reveal for the Raven Queen. <laughs> so <laughs> just decided to cram it all in. But I finally... I didn't mean for this all to be happening in the same week, but I finally got the p new paperbacks of um, the Atlant with the Atlantis Legacy covers, and so I was able to like take a bunch of pictures and um, film some videos uh, with those new pretty books. So that is why it's all happening at once. But anyway, all of that is to say, take a look at my Instagram or my Facebook, and uh, you will see the pretty new covers um, as they are revealed. And uh, yeah super fun. What am I currently working on? Uh, we did the copy edits for the Raven Queen and that is on its way to the proofreader. We have one chapter that we need to send back to our copy editor that required slightly more revisions than like we felt comfortable with just doing and then sending to the proofreader. So we're going to send that chapter. That chapter is already back with the copy editor and then as soon as we get that back from her, then we'll send the whole thing to our proofreader. And after that, it just comes back to us. We make whatever final changes there were that um, Anna, our proofreader, found in the manuscript uh, or any errors. And uh, then we do the formatting and send it to our advanced readers. And so what this means is I really need to get cracking on the map <laughs> because we're going to be formatting it like in a month and less than a month, I think. And I need to get the map ready so that it's available in the um, advanced reader copy. <laughs> so uh, get to it, Lindsay, get to it. Um, I have been working on all kinds of stuff this week, um, kind of scattered all over the place, but not like scattered as in like inefficient, just like I was doing a lot of stuff. So uh, because I was doing a lot of stuff, I did not get much written on darkness between the stars. I did one chapter today. I didn't do it right any last week at all for that. Uh, so it is currently at 11 chapters and 22 and a half words. And I am not worried about that at all because I got some stuff done that I would have had to do later that would have interfered with my progress later. So I wanted to get this other stuff done first and just get it out of the way. So that other stuff was, I just wrote the last vampire queen episode eight um, this last week, uh, because I had the scenes like really vivid in my mind. There's still like one little scene that I need to write at the end, um, of that episode, but the scenes were so vivid in my mind. I didn't want to lose them and then have to like try to 
resurrect it later. So I figured to just go with it while the momentum was there. So that, that is what I did. And I'm really happy with how it turned out <laughs> a lot. I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the bummer with writing it early is that I don't get to share it right away. Um, as soon as I write it, which is the instant gratification that I like, but it, I haven't like revite or I haven't read back through it. So, and I, like I said, I have to add one more little scene at the end. So I'll still have that fun, like instant gratification moment when I do share it next, like on December 1st. So, but it feels good to have that ready early. Uh, it's a good episode and, uh, I need to draw the map for the Raven Queen or not draw, but I need to make it in my map software. So, uh, and then AI, I've got some fun AI art stuff I've been working on. Um, so I did in for, on my Patreon, I let my patrons, it's like a new thing that I started last month. So I let my patrons vote on an excerpt that they like from the last Vampire Queen episode six. And then I created an AI art. I created a lot of AI art based on that using night cafe, my preferred AI art platform. And, uh, then I pulled my favorites of the images that I generate generated there for that, uh, excerpt, which was a really cool, like the excerpt was really a cool setting about like a graveyard overlooking, um, like a Gothic mansion and Sophie, the main character, standing there. I had a bunch that I really liked and I let my patrons vote on those. And then the one that they liked the most, I touched up by hand and I shared that on Instagram and Facebook. And so if you want to see what some of the AI art is looking like that I'm generating, you can take a peek at that. Um, it's one of my more recent posts. If you're listening to this at the time, like in the week of airing, but like I said, I'm doing a gazillion cover reveals this week, so it's going to get pushed down. But anyway, it's a woman standing in a graveyard. Uh, it's just her back. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, and then I started trying to figure out what I wanted. Or I, I have the patrons have already voted on the excerpts for from episode seven. Uh, I started working on the one that was in the lead. And I am have been in the process of... I've generated a lot already and I'm in the process of tweaking my prompt to, to get it to, to get the AI to spit out, um, kind of closer to what I'm looking for. So that is what I am working on right now. Um, what am I reading? Uh, I am reading kingdom of the wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. I hope that's how you say your name, Carrie. I am loving this book. Um, I'm listening to the audiobook, and I had to say that the narrator to me, the narrator sounds like Rachel Weiss, which I love. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm definitely going to go straight into book two, <laughs> but anyway, I'm reading this for the no shelf control podcast and LP and I are going to be chatting about it on Thursday. And then that episode will be airing next Monday. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to talk about this one. I'm really, really loving it. The narration is excellent. And I just think the story is really fun and interesting and, um, kind of like a uh, historical fantasy uh, with like demons and hell and stuff. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. And th this first book, from what I've gathered from a little sleuthing on the internet, the first book is pretty tame in the steam department, but book two apparently is not tame <laughs> in the steam department. So that's why I, I, I'm pretty excited. I mean, I really like wrath and I'm excited for, to see where, the relationship between Amelia and Wrath goes in book two. So yeah. Um, what have I been watching? Um, not a ton. We are watching Peripheral still, uh, but we're like mostly up to date on those episodes. So we have to wait for those to come out. We watched, um, I want to say it was called The Patient, which I was kind of un unimpressed. I mean, the acting was really good, I guess but I was not super into that. Um, and then we wa uh, watched The Devil's Hour, which I was really into. Um, however, I hope there's a season two because I was un d unhappy with the very ending, which I imagine lots of people were. Um, just, uh, I don't know. It, it wasn't, didn't love how it uh, made the mom in me feel. <laughs> So, 
Uh, hopefully there's a season two so that some stuff that was unsettling to me can be resolved. Um, okay. So my high, I have several highs from this week. I do not have a low. Uh, one is that I did, like I said, it was my birthday yesterday. And so, uh, on Saturday, so the day before my birthday, I did an escape room with my girlfriends and it was so fun. We escaped. Yay. <laughs> um, but it was so much fun and that afterwards we were all like, oh my gosh, we have to do another one. So I'm really excited. I feel like I've gotten them, I've given them the escape room bug. So I'm really, really excited about that. So we're going to plan another one. Um, so that was awesome. And, um, what else? What are my other highs from last week? I really love the last latest two episodes of the last vampire queen. So episode seven that just went out on November 1st and then episode eight, that's going to come out on December 1st. I am so in love with those episodes. I just really love this story. Um, if you haven't already checked out episode one, which is on my Patreon, but it's available to read for free. Um, definitely do that. Uh, it'll give you a little glimpse into what we're looking at. What, what you, I mean, a very little glimpse because it gets so much steamier, <laughs> but it's so fun. And I think the thing that I love about this is like, okay, it gets pretty smutty, but also there is so much story and mythology in this. It's fun to have it be like so rich and deep and the relationships between Sophie and all of her men are, each relationship is unique and each guy is different and it's really interesting. <laughs> Some of Sophie's inner thoughts of like, how is this ever going to work are really funny. Um, I'm just like sitting here giggling as I'm writing. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I, I'm just really in love with this story. So yeah. And, and if you're unsure about the Patreon, even if you just want to like give it a try, you can try it out. The lowest tier is $5. If you just sign up for a month and then you can always unsign, unsubscribe and not have to continue paying $5 a month. And you can just read everything that's out so far. But I just want more people to read this story because I love it so much. It's so fun. So anyway, my other highs for this week are um, The World After and The Raven Queen audiobooks are in the works officially. We, uh, I mean, we don't actually have a contract signed yet with the narrators, but they have their, we, I mean, it's like all the behind the scenes stuff is happening. So the narrators are in and we just have to get the contract set up and, and send it to them is really the point that we're at. Um, and I also, this is also Patreon related, so backtrack one. I set up discord channels for my patrons and that are just exclusive. They're only people who can get into those channels are patrons. So I'm really excited about that because that means that patrons have a place where they can talk to each other about things like the last vampire queen <laughs> and also all rolled on, on all rolled online looking glass and the Nick Chronicles and the bonus stories, all the fun stuff. So I'm really excited to have finally set that up a community space um, for the people who have access to the Patreon content, because like everybody, anybody can come into my discord. Um, so, which is great. I want it to be an open place for people to come in, but it also makes it so there's two kind of, there's the people who are in Patreon who have access to these other stories that the people who are not patrons don't have access to yet. So like eventually the last vampire queen will come out as a book um, sometime next year, season one will come out, but by then I'll already be probably by the time season one comes out as a book, I'm going to be well into writing season two and releasing that on Patreon. So there's like a big discrepancy between the things that the general public has access to versus the things that the patrons have access to. And I wanted to make sure there was a place where the patrons felt comfortable talking about the things that only they have access to together so they could have a, a community for themselves. Um, so that is something very exciting to me. Um, I couldn't think of a low this week, so that's good. <laughs> uh, my obsession last week was the last vampire queen, but I feel like I've talked about that a lot already. So I'm not going to just like keep gushing about that. <laughs> um, and I did have one fun, one fun research link 
from The Last Vampire Queen, Episode 8, which is <laughs> Wyoming King versus Alaskan King versus Texas King. What's the difference? So I was like, I wonder if there's a mattress. So it was, I needed there to be a, a bed that was bigger than a, <laughs> better than a, bigger than a king size bed or California King, which isn't really like bigger than a king size. It's just like different dimensions. But anyway, there are beds that are bigger than a king size bed. I'll let you use your imagination as to why we might need a bed that's bigger than a king size bed for a reverse harem cereal. Um, I don't think it takes much imagination to figure that one out. Uh, anyway, Wyoming King, Alaskan King, and Texas King. And if you want to find out what that means for bed size, you can check out the link that's in the show notes. Um, but that is a thing. There are bigger beds. They do exist. <laughs> um, okay, so let's check in about my goals. So last week, my goal was to write and post The Last Vampire Queen Season 1, Episode 7, and the Patron's Choice short story, which I did, both of those things, on the first. And then I wanted to write three chapters of Darkness Between the Stars, which I did not do, um, because I was writing episode se- episode eight of The Last Vampire Queen now instead of later. So it was like no real big thing. It just was, like I said, taking advantage of the momentum, the story momentum. So versus pulling teeth later. So, uh, and then, uh, I wanted to do the world after cover reveal and LP and I did that. So this week I have Uh, I would like to write five chapters of Darkness Between the Stars, which is great. I've already written one today, so uh, I am on track. And uh, if I can get more than five, that would be sweet, too. Uh, I want to do to finish the Atlantis Legacy cover reveals that I started today. And so there's I've already done Legacy of the Lost and I need to do the other five covers in the series. So probably looking at two a day from now on. or two a day, one a day, two a day, or two a day, two a day, one a day, whichever. Um, and then the Raven Queen cover reveal and blurb reveal is on Friday. So that is what I have going on this week. And I want to send in a couple emails and stuff uh, to my newsletter. Um, and what am I looking forward to? Uh, continuing my deep dive back into Darkness Between the Stars. Uh, I really enjoyed writing the episode, or the episode, the chapter that I wrote today. Um... It ended up longer than I thought it was going to be, but it also took, didn't take a direction that I didn't, it's not that it took a direction I wasn't expecting, but it definitely got darker than I was expecting for this episode. Um, but I feel like it, uh, ended up with a more natural, um, break into two point than I had originally wanted to do a, like a deeper, darker, more poignant break into two point. Um, act two. And uh, I'm really happy with that. And I'm really excited about the next chapter that I'm going to write. And basically I like, okay, now I just want to like get everything down so I can get to the midpoint because the midpoint is amazing (laughs) of this book. It's awesome. Um, yeah. So that is it for me this week. Uh, I will be back next week to ramble some more and until then happy reading.